Hey, what's up, girl? Daddy said that we need to go just a tiny bit shorter today, so we are going to do a seven all over on her. This is a about a little over two months uh, haircut, and we had done a one guard, trying to just stay on top of it, keep her at a good length, but it's gotten heavy over the last two weeks, he said. So we're going to bring this down to about a seven, and then I'm going to uh, we're playing with the time frame, but seven. If I do a seven all over, likely I won't need to have her come in for two months, and then we'll see if that works out for for everything. Yeah, you laying down on me. Well, you can lay down until we get we get to the nitty gritty. All right, so I've got my Andis five speed. I've got a cord cover on, so that help me go a little faster. Don't twist up my blade or my cord on my clipper. I'm gonna come in here. And this is going to be a, a bit tighter, obviously, but we're going to ride this for two months and see if that works. Other, other than that, we're going to come back down to possibly coming in about once a month. And we're trying to, I'm trying to help them not have to do that so they can just have, you know, one month break, not having to come into a groomer and the expenses of a groomer too. So just kind of talk it over with the client, see what works best for them. He said, yeah, I can come in every month. And I was like, okay, well, what do we want to do, right? And then one of the options is, is we, he can just call me and say, Dee Dee, I really need a face trim. I really need this and that. You know, he doesn't need to come in just for a full groom. And he's actually sitting out in the lobby right now. So he's just chilling. He's gonna wait for her. Tell you what. Okay, this is great and everything, but if you don't stand up, it's going to be real difficult for us to just get this groom done. So we have to stand up, okay? You have to stand up. Oh, it's not going to work out for you, is it? No, 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 you're okay. No, 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 uh -uh. no, you're okay. No, you're all right. Stop, stop, stop.
All right, let's go. Come on, we have to stand up here. We have to stand up, sweetie. I don't remember you having a problem standing up before. So we've been doing a um, four, re re four guard reverse teddy bear head, but we want to go just a tad bit shorter. So that would be the five guard next, which I don't really love. It's, it's really short, but also using a guard. So I'm going to come back in with my five blade, which I don't use very often, but I think it'll do good for you. Hey, stop. You don't need these now, so that's fine, but let me see. So this is a five blade.
He said clean this out really good, so that's what we're doing here. Give him a leave-in conditioner and just a little squirt here and check the ears. I'm going to go ahead and get the tail. Come back and do that with the tail here. I'm ready for you. Okay. But you can finish whatever you're doing right there. I was, no, I was coming back to check. To okay, great. You ready to go? Let me grab it. You take the groom out with you. Okay, let me get the going for you. Hi, babies. Thank you. All right, she wasn't loving the blow dryer today, so I didn't push it on her head and everything, but I really needed all this taken care of so that uh, we can trim her feet and stuff still. So we're gonna clean everything up with our seven blade again. Get that template under there and clean up your sanitary in a minute, okay? Yeah. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where are you going? No, no, no. Look up. Yeah, we need to clean that up. Look up. Look up.
change out to your tin blade now. Hold on, you're all right. Ready? We're going to go up here. Okay, ready? Up, 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 up. Up. Good. She has little tiny baby nipples, so be really careful. Every dog's different. I could see that doing her rear sanitary, so I, I knew, like, oh, okay, be gentle when I come up to the front. Very much just skimming the hair rather than trying to go deep. Skim, skim, skim until you can get comfort in more, right? And I'd rather skip a little bit if I have to, because the nipples are there. Skim, skim, skim. Skim down the leg. Great. Put her down and then come back in and check her armpits with my tin here. And scoop out. Skim, skim, skim. Not heavy and I'm not staying there very long. come back in and uh, no. I actually had uh, David and Maria do the pads together but I'm going to come double check here so that I can see anything sticking out when I take care of it. I like to um, keep my table clean when I'm doing the pads because when they step on the hair that's already fallen it just sticks right back to the pad. That's why you'll see that I consistently have to keep sweeping. It's too uh, short and very, very, uh, that tripod, short, pretty short and also very light. It's easy to just hit and just fall down, you know? And another one? Different one and I'll probably resell that one just as a basic. Beginner. Why are you charging the battery? I'm not, not yet. The, all the stuff's right there, though. See, any little bit sticking out needs to come out because when I come back in through and trim, all that between her toes and stuff have to be gone. I missed all that. Oh, you missed all that on the floor, on the table right there. But when a dog is dirty and you come back and it's clean and you've blow dried the hair out and in the way, sometimes stuff goes back and forward, so it could be both. It's not necessarily, but I, I, uh, I usually don't have to go back and do pads after the bath, do I? No. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's okay. You're, uh, Novelist. <laughs> What's a novelist? How dirty. It is nail trim. They flick that nail at me.
anything hanging out there, go ahead and just take it. Little flurries that are just still kind of sticking out, go ahead and take it there. Brush it up here. I like to brush it up. You don't have to. You can brush it down. We're all different groomers. What you like, what your clients like, stuff like that. No, don't mess with those yet. I'm going to train her when I get uh, one second. I got it set up so um, she knows I got a little system. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as soon as I'm done, though, when I get I a second. I was just looking with my eyes. <laughs> Why y'all keep messing with my face mask, man? <laughs> David, I know, I know. I know that needs to be done. Trust you me, I got a system over here getting ready to show her how to do it. Even conditioner again, just a little bit here. Brush all this out. Got a pretty good size knot right here in her ear. I'm going to go sideways and cut it up a little bit. And then come back and try to take it out without actually taking out the whole thing. Get your D-map D -map breaker here. Just double check. Still there, I see it. And then you're gonna get your comb out. Use the small side. You can kind of see it's still there. Hang in there. I'm gonna get it out. There we go. There we go. Got that baby out. So break it up, and then that, sometimes you can shave it right on out. But sometimes, you know, if you if you shave it right on out, that hair there's just gonna grow back real short and fumble, fumble, twist, and then get matted again. So sometimes if it's small enough, you can break it up. You know what I mean? Okay, let's get your brush back out here. No. No. right here if I were to check with this comb I would know right you know right away there's knots in there like on the home front I mean
Okay. All right, remember we did a five. See how the pedestal leaves go up. We did a five, or sorry, five blade. I'm gonna come back. She doesn't like me coming right out her eyes like that, so come from behind here. Remember, we're trying to make the hair be like pretty much great, like ready to come back in in two months, not like overdone. So we're trying a few things this time around. This is our third groom together, I believe. No. Nope. So real lightly, I'm not really pushing down too hard, but I've got a, my five blade. Now switch it up, get your 10 blade, and put on a four guard, which is also sometimes known as a one fourth inch. Stop. Let's see. I'm going to fade it by doing a four guard reverse right into that. You won't even be able to tell. Because the seven that we use is shorter than the four guard. You won't even be able to tell. You go backwards right there. All right, we're going to come back with some scissors and be done. Brush it all forward a little bit here. No, 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 look that way. Keep in mind, we didn't blow dry our head all the way either, so there's a little bit of what it looks like it still needs to dry. And that's okay, it just depends on the pet's needs. Wants to look this way, let's move over. But look up for me. I noticed that she had this all pretty wet when she came in. So that tells me maybe water, drinking, food, residue, stuff like that. So I'm bringing it up just a tad bit.
waiting for you. Yeah. What? some cologne here. All right, Dad, what do you think? <laughs> well, her mom is really going to like that. He just repeated that for me. Thank you so much. So this is kind of a, a two months, right? That was the goal, two months. Uh -huh. um, we're hopefully be like right where it's, you don't have to do nothing, don't need to trim her face or nothing like that. <laughs> and we did a seven all over. So I think he was like, oh, I really like that. Oh, looks like good, that. looks yeah. nice and smooth. Okay, great, right. thank you so much. Fantastic. Yeah.